used to be. I used to be. Okay, <laughs> okay. In a joke, I don't know if you're but before we go to our first guest of the day, remember Battle of the Best, Kuna Mtuwa Mitisha already, Genge to Love by Marara. Marara, aka Matata. Kuna Mtuwa Nasema, Bendy Sailors. So, head over pale Twitter, cast your vote. Our Battle of the Best today is between um, Matata versus Sailors. Yeah. You know what to do. End up to pale Twitter. We have a link um, that will lead you to Twitter through Facebook, so cast your votes now, 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 now. And our f our guest, our first guest is in the studio already. Uh, she is Miss World 2020 and she goes by the name Sylvia. She is not only Miss World 2020, she'll be telling us about uh, more about herself and what she champions for and Adina. So welcome to the studio. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. So kindly introduce yourself. Uh, like you said, well, my name is Sylvia from Travel. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm currently reading at Yes. World. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, Miss that. Africa mm -hmm. and also mm -hmm. El Miss Elite Face of Africa okay. for 2020. Mm -hmm. And I'll be going to represent our continent and Kenya in Miss United Nations mm -hmm. in Canada. Mm -hmm. It was supposed to be last month, mm -hmm. but then Corona happened. So yeah. it's going to be next year in March. Uh -huh. So when we call out for voting, please, uh -huh. yeah, we hope yeah. guys will we'll do that. Uh -huh. And yeah, and I think I, I, I may be reigning for another one year because of what happened for Miss Africa. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and I'm a mother mm -hmm. of three. Really? Yes. Of three boys. Interesting. And um, I'm an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. I run a company called Tech Up Holdings, and I have a foundation for special needs children called uh, Andy Speaks for Special Needs Persons. Mm -hmm. Africa. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, so, all these titles, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And you're still going to get more. Yeah. What led you there? What led me there, you know, I had like a five year plan, right? Mm -hmm. So I had sought for a session and we were like, in, by the time I, uh, this decade ends, I would like to do all my childhood dreams. You know, those things that everyone tells you is impossible. Yes. So one of it was actually, I wanted to walk the ramp mm -hmm. and be me something. But when I tried to do that, when I was 19, I was told I am like two inches short. You know, when you're going for Miss World, Miss World, yeah, there's a, actually a height. Mm -hmm. that you yeah, have there's to a be. height, yeah. So then and my friend asked me, have you ever thought of it? And I'm like, ah, I'm past that. Then mm -hmm. she was like, no, there's actually one which uh, encompasses everyone, misses and all that. Because since I'm a divorcee, uh, there was a slot for that. That's why it's called Elite. I can okay. see your face. <laughs> yes. That's why it falls. Uh -huh. So I was like, yeah, I can give it a shot. I had mm -hmm. never done modeling before. So it was my first time. And I, I came back with the 19 awards. And it is the first time it has come to Kenya. Uh, Miss Africa, it's always been in AC mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Through you. So, yeah, and I broke two records, and I was like, yay! So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's how I ended up there. But also I wanted to use it as a platform to continue championing for what I, I love most, mm -hmm. which is neurodevelopmental disabilities. Mm -hmm. Two of my boys have autism, so mm -hmm. that's why I championed okay. for that. Okay, yeah. we'll get to that, but um, before we do so, um, when you get the titles, of course, they expect you to give back to the society. Yes. So from each title that you got mm -hmm. what what is it that you championed for for well, all of them have maintained it constant so mm -hmm. i do mentorship especially mm -hmm. for women yeah i do uh, menstrual hygiene promotion uh, donating sanitary towels and education for the, uh, just menstrual hygiene mm -hmm. and top most now is i fight for the rights of children with neurodevelopmental disabilities yes this is cerebral palsy mm -hmm. autism down syndrome learning disabilities you know those things that are invisible because mm -hmm. not many people will actually know a child has an issue mm -hmm. you just brand them something else yeah. and because of all so the African culture, and if you look at our policies as much as we say it is inclusive, the fact is it's not because no, they're inclusive. always left behind. Yeah. yeah, so trying to raise awareness and mm -hmm. at the same time uh, uh, try and let people be aware. Stop hiding your kids in the house, bring them out, and there is services that actually can give them a near normal life. Mm -hmm. So that's what I champion most passionate about. Uh -huh. And uh, I am a Rotarian also, mm -hmm. and as a Rotarian, actually today is World Polio Day. <laughs> and <laughs> Africa has been declared mm -hmm. polio free, polio free yeah. and we're cele celebrating that. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's why I have this lapel here. And okay. polio now, so uh -huh. we are this close to ending it uh -huh. globally. Very close. Yeah. Okay. So um, at the beginning of when there was 
when they announced the lockdown and everything, I was watching a certain interview of a lady whose son had autism. Uh -huh. And she was just talking about how hard it's been for her child. Mm -hmm. You know, he can't go out. He has to remain extremely sanitary. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, very, very clean mm -hmm. and such things. Mm -hmm. And how is it for... How, how, how has um, the pandemic affected people with children who have neuro neurodevelopmental conditions? It's been tough. Mm -hmm. I, I think that lady you're talking about was me. It was you! <laughs> no! Yes. On Citizen, right? Yes. Yes. It that, was that was me. me. <laughs> okay. That was me in uh -huh. my crazy normal life, uh -huh. the mommy side, yeah. <laughs> so it's been, in, it's oh. been crazy. Like, in, insane. Because... Mm -hmm. um, uh, children with autism need to be taught things in a specific way. First mm -hmm. of all, we're trying to explain something that's not tangible or they can't see it, they can't understand it. So you see, this is uh, our, a concept that is not good to them because they're used to tactile, uh, audio and visual learning. Yeah. That's how they learn best. Then it was very sudden. Mm -hmm. Like if I want to change the routine of my son, mm -hmm. like they're about to close school, I tell him like, two weeks in advance yeah school will be ending school will be and so that they're prepared mm -hmm. now for corona it just came boom we can't go anywhere mm -hmm. they can't go to school they can't go outside you can't see big people and that enclosed space now like for my last one has adhd that is uh attention deficit mm -hmm. hyperactivity disorder yeah so that means hyper is there then mm -hmm. you're telling them i'm containing you in this in space one place, yeah Impossible. Lord, trust you, me energy levels from wherever it just dwindle to a point you're like, God, please come through. So at least um, you, you, you're forced to find ways of how to adopt that is so because now you see when other people can do e-learning, mm -hmm. others can do um, uh, this one for TV that the government did. You see, yeah, our children yeah, were not yeah. considered. Uh -huh. So for us, we had to be, their therapy sessions were cut out. Mm -hmm. That means I had to try and fit all this, right? Yeah. So I have to be... Uh, boss lady in the mm -hmm. office, try and figure that out. Mm -hmm. I have to be mommy because I have the eldest boy who's a teenager, 14. Yeah. He has to continue with his school. Mm -hmm. Then these other two, they have therapy, mm -hmm. speech therapy, occupational therapy. So you're trying to now learn new things mm -hmm. and trying to teach them. And teaching them is not as easy as it is for a typical child. Yes. So you can imagine parents dealing with all of this. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, there is the economic uh, strife that came with it. And uh, there is a comorbid. A comorbid is a coexisting condition. Most of the persons with neurodevelopmental disabilities, mm -hmm. you find either they have another comorbid, either mm -hmm. OCD, mm -hmm. epilepsy, or convulsive disorders, yeah. and many, many, many other underlying conditions. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, mine are on medication. Mm -hmm. So they have to take medicine every day so every they don't convulse. Yes. Because when someone gets convulsions, your mm -hmm. brain cells die. Mm -hmm. And if it takes longer, mm -hmm. then a child can die, even an adult. Yeah. Yeah. So, because uh, convulsions uh, totally disrupt the entire system. Yes. Of the body. It's like being shocked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine that. So, and that's one of one. I'm just trying to summarize. So the social economic mm -hmm. plus now the learning mm -hmm. plus now health wise now yeah. access to, that's to such too much. things. So it's been it's been very intense for us as caregivers, mm -hmm. and you find that who do you run to, especially right now, everyone is actually having their own issues. Mm -hmm. Many have been laid off, and a good number of 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 parents with children with disabilities have been left. So you find you're a single parent. Mm -hmm. Now, Utopata, the job they were doing was mm -hmm. maybe Koshanguo and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And you know, for us, you find like most of the time you that one person who's easily to be let go from work. Yeah. Because, you know, we always have, I need time out to go take care of this. I need to mm -hmm. take them to therapy. I need to take them to school, mm -hmm. you know. So you're not available yeah, all the time. Yeah, and then you can't even, and you find, because of the specialty, like a parent who has a cerebral palsy child, you can imagine uh, how delicate that child is. You can't even say you can do the therapy at home, massaging and stuff like that. Because yeah. one wrong move, mm -hmm. you can paralyze that child. You can't even break them. Mm -hmm. So even leave, you can't sit here and leave my child with the neighbor because they need to understand. Remember, the yeah. kids are being fed, special care. like special diet and stuff like that. So, yeah. It's a lot. It's I can imagine. <laughs> one parent who has um, children with no conditions, it's a lot for them. Yeah. So how are you dealing with that personally? Uh, personally, I, I try also remember I am human because mm -hmm. one thing first is acceptance. You accept this is the situation and try and make the best out of it. I've empowered my eldest boy to also support mm -hmm. and also my nanny. So they come through like for the first two weeks, I send them to my mom because yeah. I have to, to be not you selfish, need your time. Yeah, you, you need, need your to time to rejuvenate. You need to, because it's not easy. Because like sometimes the child can have a meltdown when mm -hmm. they just 
screaming because you know they're nonverbal, they can't communicate. So also they could be having a sensory, um, what do you call it, a sensory overload, mm -hmm. you know, processing because they process things differently. Mm -hmm. So maybe it, is, it could be sound, light or texture or just internal and they can't, so they react differently. Yeah. So uh, I take time out a lot. I mm -hmm. love myself. <laughs> no, <laughs> you have to. You have to you do have that, to. yeah. So that gives you rejuvenation. Points. Yes. Yeah, so we survive like that mm -hmm. and then... Yeah, just mm -hmm. love them. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're the most lovable human beings, yeah. by the way. Like, just amazing. Mm -hmm. So, focus. I always say, uh, see the able mm -hmm. and not the label. So, yes. I try and focus on their abilities. Yeah. If you're good at this, so be it. Let's mm -hmm. do that, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And then you involve them in the things that you're doing, especially now during Corona. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that you can use, you can do at home is uh, ensuring you involve them in what you're doing mm -hmm. so that they like feel part of the family, mm -hmm. you know. Then it's so Such feeling like, you know, they get, because uh, you see what they, they also learn in school is something called ADL, that's mm -hmm. uh, activities of daily living, yeah. like dressing. You mm -hmm. know them, they need to be taught how to dress. Mm -hmm. to dress Until true. now, my 10-year-old needs support to mm -hmm. be dressing. Mm -hmm. uh, they're fine motor skills. There are things you can do at home that will support them. So that's that's how you try and uh, make it fun, learning mm -hmm. and, and or living. Yeah, in the activities, yeah, right? The activities okay, so um, who is it that you have partnered with um, when it comes to championing for children with neuro... The neurodiverse Neu community. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we work with different organizations uh -huh. depending on what projects we are having. Mm -hmm. Like we always have, we have an annual ride. La the last year we did um, our bicycle ride through 16 counties mm -hmm. but that is our own initiative yeah but we get partners at the point depending on who comes on board yeah then this year we're supposed to do a motorbike one like yeah mm -hmm. round nairobi mm -hmm. in and out the entire you know but then corona happened do you ride yourself a week before <laughs> do you ride by, uh, by motorcycles yourself i was facing my fears <laughs> <laughs> that was the plan. you know you have to be, for something to be meaningful uh -huh. you have to it has to be a sacrifice. Yeah, you have to so do it I yourself. I am so afraid of motorbikes, I uh -huh. won't even lie, but so now I, I, I tried, at least I went for a ride before. Mm -hmm. Those ones I'm like, face your fears. So <laughs> I did. <laughs> and it's fun, yeah. you know, then it's fun. I, I saw, I'd taken my kids for a, a motor show and, you know, seeing how they were so excited about bikes and sound, I was like, I think this is something we can do, yeah. you know, uh -huh. and it's faster. Uh, like, um, so uh, partners per se, mm -hmm. I, I, work with the National Council of Persons with Disabilities, mm -hmm. just uh, trying to get persons with disabilities to, to be understood and at the same time they understand us. Yeah. So you find we'll be called upon on advisory basis. And apart from that, we've worked with Sense International because mm -hmm. they will also look at uh, multisensory disorders. They focus on deaf blind, uh, but then you see also most of the time, remember I, I mentioned the comorbid, so you yeah. will find that a uh, child, a neurodiverse child with either ha be hard of hearing sometimes, especially like those with DS, that's Down syndrome, you'll mm -hmm. find they have issues with sight or with their hearts and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, multisensory also. So, and then we also call upon partners mm -hmm. if you feel like uh, other organizations when mm -hmm. they have an, uh, an, an event and they need our support, we go and support them. Um, yeah, and we have like children's homes that we also, now as Miss Africa, because mm -hmm. I combine the two, yeah. uh, I go and support them with the, the food mm -hmm. and clothing and stuff like that. Actually, my kids celebrate their bath their birthdays with either with autistic other homes, yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. So we make it that we, there is something we're plugging mm -hmm. in in the community. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, how about um, like you said, it's it takes a lot of a lot of energy from the yeah. caregiver. Mm -hmm. What is it that are there groups, maybe support groups for caregivers? We have our own, like we have, as, as Andy speaks for special needs persons, we have a Facebook group. And every Saturday, like today in the afternoon, alternate mm -hmm. Saturdays, I host a show called Neuro Digest, yeah. where we just educate them, educate, raise awareness, and also bring in specialists to talk to the caregivers. Mm -hmm. We have a Facebook page, we'll have, of course, Twitter handles, IG, but we have also WhatsApp groups. So there are several also social media platforms mm -hmm. where parents can plug in and learn. Because most of the time you'll find you're trying to do something like as uh, easy as potty training for a normal person. Yeah. For children are in diapers up until adulthood, some yes. of them. Some learn how to use uh, the potty maybe at 5, 10, depending, mm -hmm. you know, because it's not an easy process. Uh, so we, we support each other that way mm -hmm. in the different platforms. So you'll find there is one that's all inclusive. Mm -hmm. you find there is one that is for autistic specific, parents, yeah, all specific me, conditions. Don't parents mm -hmm. and CP. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the groups are there. Can you share um, where 
people who are going to the same campfire. I mean, the groups. The groups. Yeah, especially uh, okay. one which if, is all-inclusive. If, uh, if uh, for us, we do all-inclusive. Mm -hmm. So someone can go to our Facebook page mm -hmm. or even our IGs, Andy Speaks. Mm -hmm. Twitter, we are Andy Speaks for. Facebook, it's just Andy Speaks. Andy, that means A-N-D-Y. Mm -hmm. That's the short for my... my Inspiration child is Andrew, mm -hmm. so I shouted his name. So, and then also it stands for it's an acronym for something else. But yeah. So, at Andy speaks for special needs persons uh, in brackets SNP. So that's on Facebook. You can just DM or drop a message there. Mm -hmm. Then we can now share the link depending on uh, which specific group you want. Yeah, to be you in. need. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the dinner that you have in place. Yeah. Yeah. Tell yeah. us a bit about that and what you what your intentions are okay so looking at the challenges that we are going through there is one thing i like focusing on that is if you're a person we are all i, I use this statement we are all in the same storm mm -hmm. that is covid 19 but we are all in different boats yes so you will find like some are in ships mm -hmm. where they can survive through it yeah some are in fishing boats mm -hmm. some are just sailing Gets on rocky. a plank you know uh -huh. so uh that i want us to have equity in life equity meaning meet people at their point of need right so when we did a survey to uh, amongst the groups and we realized there is uh, four things that parents want the most there is food there is medication, then there is ETC, all right? Those are what they've talked to. So when Gava is coming with sanitizer masks, us, we are not even there. We yeah. talk about learning, that's the last thing yeah. in my mind, you know? Because if I look at my child, if mm -hmm. they don't go, if they don't get their medication, the it's therapy. a risk of life. Mm -hmm. So those are two cr crucial things. So that, those are the, we've had this project where we've been distributing food, diapers, uh, sanitary towels to you know even uh, the girls you know people think that because you you have a disability you don't menstruate you they do. still do so we were also supplying that and then now the sanitizers and stuff that we mm -hmm. receive but the one key thing we're doing for this dinner that is tomorrow night it's a virtual dinner meaning you can join us from anywhere yeah we are going to be it's going to be two five and then per family will come together mm -hmm. and the funds that we're going to be raising we're going to be channeling them to buy medication for those who need it the most. Yeah. You see, as government is saying, the numbers of how many people have COVID mm -hmm. for us in our private spaces, we know how many parents are almost going crazy about yeah. the stress. We've lost so many kids. We buried one of our beneficiaries actually passed on two Saturdays ago. Mm -hmm. You see, we had funds only for like a month's medication. So we, we were not even able to give everyone on our list. So we're like, okay, can we try and make it like uh, at least a month or two supply for everyone we have on our list? I know we can't reach everyone, but we've gone as far as Lamu. We've sent medicine as far as Siaya. We've yeah. sent medicine all the way to Isiolo. So you see, the people have the need, but then if they're not in the circles where we're talking about it, they mm -hmm. know there is support them. somewhere. Yeah. So that's why I was saying, like, on our platform, you would know, because mm -hmm. we posted the link, we got, we have the prescriptions, mm -hmm. we, we have, we're working in partnership with uh, Checkups Medical, so they'll call the doctor, because we can't even afford taking our children for review. Mm -hmm. One session of review is like four or five, oh, can wow. afford the, yeah, that's a neurologist, a and we have very few neurologists, and on top of that, you find we have therapy, which a session, you need like mm -hmm. three sessions, mm -hmm. minimum one session a week. A week. At minimum is 1500 to 45 depending mm -hmm. on which therapy yeah so you can imagine all these costs and those are the things that and they're essential children, it's not something yes, you can live without essential, yeah and and funny enough you know if a therapy for our kids is not covered by any child mm -hmm. so you can imagine how many parents are struggling so that's why we're reaching out at least if we take away one burden mm -hmm. so that they can try and do this others for therapy we brought in therapists to to explain how parents can do this at home through now the neurodigest show that I, I mentioned we host and at least you see now that one and it's on our YouTube also mm -hmm. all these lessons all these specialist interviews and uh, illustrations are available on our on, on our YouTube channel or even my own YouTube channel they're there so what else could we what was the gap the meds yeah and that's how we're coming in so tomorrow we're having dinner mm -hmm. we're going to be having a virtual dinner it will be like the kawaii the way we used to the only thing is now we're not doing gowns and stuff <laughs> like that <laughs> but it's for it's a flashy. good cause mm -hmm. yes we mm -hmm. will sit together share and explain and we'll have also beneficiaries talk to you this is how this was for me yeah you know sharing how <clears throat> and what they've gone through mm -hmm. so we are also ask, asking guys to just support us even if you buy meds buy a hundred bob mm -hmm. that's a day okay. supply yeah. for someone mm -hmm. we have a name changa so if you 
you mm-hmm. just go online and write mchanga mm-hmm. it's there then there is uh the pay bill also for mchanga mm-hmm. you can just go to the pay bill and make a donation at a 50 bob mm-hmm. that's for someone who's on something like phenobab which is three three bob mm-hmm. you see who took home sort for one week yeah yeah so we have like fluctuating needs kuna ule mwenye anatumia 30000 per month yes so we're just asking guys like for 2500 you'll be adopting a family yes. for one month mm-hmm. yeah and mm-hmm. maybe now if it's someone whose expense is bigger then that means you we, we three people can come together mm-hmm. and so that person oh, yeah and reduce like their burden yeah we're yeah. just trying to reduce the burden so mm-hmm. we're all going through things but if we come together african ubuntu mm-hmm. i believe we can really really make a difference sure mm-hmm. yes so how can people um be part of the dinner be part of the dinner uh we have set up the event mm-hmm. it's linked on our page my page uh but uh can, uh, you can just if you make a donation that two five mm-hmm. we will get the notification of course we'll reach out and send you the link for joining the yeah. dinner yeah so and then if, if that we are having people who are saying i cannot come for the dinner but i'll make a donation yeah. so either way mm-hmm. so you can you don't have to attend the dinner we would love to have your company mm-hmm. but you can also say me nikona so mm-hmm. i want to give mm-hmm. up this 100 bob mm-hmm. yeah me nikona you know 50 i can do 10k so it's according to what you can yes. so if you go to if you go to mchanga and just type andy Mm-hmm. A N D Y. It will bring for you our project. Mm-hmm. Then you can make the donation there, and we will reach out because we'll be able to get access. Okay. To your contacts. Yeah. Um, could you kindly share um your social media handles yes. and also the YouTube channel the where YouTube. people can join in to the conversation? Uh, so my personal one is uh, Twitter is Mora Silvia mm-hmm. at Mora Silvia for the organization. It's at and Andy speaks for number four. For IG, it's Sylvia Mochabo. For Andy Speaks, it's Andy Speaks, just as it is. On on Facebook, mine is still the same. My full name, Sylvia Mora Mochabo. If you want to follow now the Miss Africa one, it will be Miss Mochabo, Miss Africa Elite 2020. Mm-hmm. Uh, for Andy Speaks, it's Andy Speaks for special needs persons in brackets SNP. Mm-hmm. That's the that's the group. So we'll, you will request and then we'll we'll also accept. And then I know there is a page also, same name. We okay. haven't changed. Uh, YouTube, same thing. Sylvia Moramo Chabo, my personal one. And for the organization, it's Andy Speaks for Special Needs Persons. Mm-hmm. So there you will find all the interviews, yeah. all the learning materials. If it's something like autism you don't understand, we've done clips over there to just mm-hmm. illustrate what it is. And yeah, we'll be glad to have all of you come <laughs> and join us and support. And yeah, I think I can give the pay bill number, right? Yeah. I can give the pay bill number. Mm-hmm. Let me get the um, e-shirt for that. So that that way you find, if we come together, one at a yeah, time it, it, it's easier for it's, it's way way easier yeah, yeah uh, there is the issue i don't know if you had it if you had it would have just shown it mm-hmm. so our pay bill is three two eight eight seven one so if you are attending the dinner you can just write your name so that at least we are SVP. Yeah. And but if you just want to donate, you mm-hmm. can write meds. Mm-hmm. Account is meds mm-hmm. that way. Then mm-hmm. the M Changa one is eight nine one three hundred. The account is Andy S N P. So it's the same thing. So you can either use M Changa. For M Changa, it's uh, it's open because you can do from Airtel, from you know, it mm-hmm. doesn't matter. You don't oh, have to have yeah. a Safari Comia. Yeah, 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 and yeah. if you want to swipe, mm-hmm. if you want to pay through PayPal, so it gives you all options. Mm-hmm. That's why we are focusing more. Just go online, mm-hmm. say M Changa. That is. There you go. Mm-hmm. Yes. So thank you. So yeah, then we have our pay bill there. Okay. And we will appreciate your support. Mm-hmm. Yes. So thank you so much for coming through. Thank you, my dear. We appreciate your time. We appreciate your time, and we wish you all the best in your campaigns. Yeah, and we hope you. to see more change when it comes to these yeah. issues. Slowly but surely, mm-hmm. we're of course. Going to get there. Yeah, that's for sure. Okay. And thank you for having me. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, any final words to caregivers out there and people who are going through something okay. similar? Yes, so to my fellow parents and caregivers, uh, what I always want to say and always telling the rest of uh, parents, Mm -hmm. never take it like a burden. Look at it like a learning point. God knows why he gave you this child. He'll give you the energy and the grace to be able to take care of the child. Embrace them. Acceptance is the first thing because that's where it all starts. 
you accept your child for who they are. You know, a child is not like a go- uh, an item from the supermarket you can return to sender. Yeah. This is what you have. Embrace it. Love that baby and they will love you back and teach you things you have no idea about. I'm yeah. so impatient. Trust you me, I'm the most patient person right now. <laughs> <laughs> because God uses them to enrich your life. So just focus on that. Mm-hmm. I know there are days you feel tired. I can't do this no more. Just take a step back when you get to that point. Re-energize and then go back. Because you cannot keep from an empty cup. Yes. And also support others. Join others so that you don't feel alone. And we share experiences. So yeah. Okay. Together we can do better. Of a course. A step at a time. Mm-hmm. Yes. So thank you so much once again. And we wish you all the best. Thank you. Yes. Thank As you me. have heard from Sylvia, together we can. We are taking a short musical break. <laughs>